In this module, I'll give you a detailed demonstration of time impact analysis. This method involves the insertion of delay events as and when they occur into the as planned program. Subsequently, the critical path is reanalyzed in order to ascertain how these events will impact the project critical path and completion date in the future. Unlike some of the other methodologies, TIA is a predictive or prospective method. In other words, it is not meant to be used as a retrospective tool to analyze delays well after the delay has occurred. Instead, it is used dynamically during the course of the project to predict how delay events will affect the project critical path and completion date. Strengths First, it's very useful to prove delay if used contemporaneously, in other words, when delay events took place. Second, it encourages a proactive approach to resolving EOT claims as required, for example, by various forms of contract. Weaknesses. It is a relatively difficult analysis and challenging to carry out on complex programs. Next, it requires a lot of accurate information, including a realistic and achievable as planned or baseline program. And finally, the analysis is purely prospective. Therefore, the estimated delay will usually be different from the actual delays. This obviously is a problem. So now we're going to carry out a time impact analysis in MS Project. Now follow this video very carefully. You may have to watch it a few times in order to understand the whole procedure. Time impact analysis, if you look at it from a big picture perspective, it's not too complicated. You just have to progress the program to a point, to a status date or a data date when a delay event took place, insert the delay event, make it zero, reanalyze the schedule to make sure that there's no change to the finish date or any milestones, then increase the zero duration to the amount of delay incurred and reschedule the program. And you have to have a baseline before scheduling at zero delay duration and another baseline after it's been scheduled with the correct delay duration. And this step keeps getting repeated for each and every delay event. So in a nutshell, this is the basic logic and principle associated with a time impact analysis. Please pay close attention to all the steps that I'll be carrying out on screen. I'm going to start by modifying the calendar. This is something you need to learn how to do as well. Sometimes a weekend could be a working day. So in this particular example, three days which fall on the weekend have to be converted to working days. Once more, keep a close watch on what I'm doing on screen and you will be able to replicate the procedure without any problems whatsoever.
Okay, so the calendar has been modified. Now it's time to transfer all the activities into MS Project. Now I'm going to indent all the key activities. Let's convert the handover and project finish activities into milestones. And now it's time to link all the activities. Always remember to remove constraints, very important step. They can completely mess up your network logic. Change it to the default as soon as possible. And you can immediately see that the finish date has been reduced by two days. It's changed from the 10th of August to the 8th of August. Now it's time to save your first baseline program. So please go ahead and save your baseline and check it via the tracking Gantt view. The dark gray bars represent your baseline, your first baseline. So everything is fine and now you can move on to the next step. So now we're ready to start inserting the delay events. The procedure is identical to what we followed for previous delay analysis methodologies. It is important to reduce the delay duration to zero in order to ensure that the network logic has not been affected by insertion of this delay event. So now let's make sure that the delay start and finish dates are correct as per our Excel file and insert a finish to start link from the handover and a finish to start link from the delay event to the fencing activity. Remove the constraint that has automatically been inserted by MS Project and everything looks good. The finish date has not changed, so the delay event has been inserted logically into the network and the logic has been modified without having any effect whatsoever to the project completion date. Since the first delay event affects a handover milestone, you don't need to progress or update the schedule before saving your second baseline. And the reference should be per the Excel table here. I'm going to insert all the MS project baseline references and your actual program reference is in the next column which you will be using for your delay analysis narrative. The next step is to enter the actual delay duration, which is five days for delay event number one. The impact is immediately felt. The project finish date has also been delayed. Now we can go ahead and save the baseline. The reference is obtained from our Excel spreadsheet. Click on the TIA delay analysis table and the reference is derived from baseline two. This concludes the analysis for delay event number one. Delay event number two will be analyzed in the next video tutorial.